Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'll be sharing the top two types of dog booties from the many I have tested over the last few years. First one I'll share are for experienced dogs who are already used to wearing shoes. The second booty socks are great for beginners, but first I would like to go over the top four reasons why dogs could and should wear shoes. I'm going to run a cute slideshow while I go through this list. You may skip this part and go straight to where I share which booties I recommend. Either way, I hope you enjoy and find this video helpful. So, here's the big question I always get from people. Why do you put shoes on your dog? And some people tell me dogs don't need to wear shoes and laugh at me. However, there are many useful or necessary situations for your dog to wear shoes. Number one. Veterinarians recommend some sort of protection in the hot summer days to prevent burns. They will have lots of horror stories to tell you if you ask them. If you've ever been to the beach on a hot day and tried to walk barefoot through the sand, you will know exactly what that feels like. The rule is, if you can't leave your bare hands on the pavement for longer than 10 seconds, it will be too hot for your dog as well. Paw wax is an alternative to booties, but I prefer the booties because it has left wax residue on my flooring and since Cavaliers have very furry paws, it was just a huge mess unless you regularly shave them. Number two, hiking or rough terrains. I'll include mulch in here as well because in the hot dry climate in California where I live and my community being eco-conscious, we have mulch instead of grass in many areas. And the dryness makes the mulch very brittle. My dogs got splinters very often and they were very difficult to see through all the fur they had. Um, and I could see that they were in a lot of pain. Number three, harsh weather and rain. Your dog may do just fine in the snow without protection, but some dogs, especially smaller breeds, can be sensitive to colder temperatures. Also, my dogs hate rain or when the ground is wet and they will refuse to even take a single step forward and put on their brakes. It seems to be a very common problem owners have. Getting your dogs used to booties can be helpful getting through the rainy season and will save you time and stress. Number four, simply for hygiene. Parks or shared community spaces can be filled with irresponsible owners that don't clean up after their pets. My dogs have picked up a lot of unwanted gifts on their fluffy feet and booties have made things so much easier for me and my dogs after walks or a fun outing at an off-leash dog park we just get home take off their shoes and they are as clean as when we left the first booty i recommend are for experienced dogs the soles are similar to human shoes with the rubber soles sturdy for wear and tear these are the longest lasting shoes that I've ever owned. Um, the top is made out of breathable material with a double velcro closure. I will leave a link in the description box below. Dogs don't sweat like we do, but their paws do. So having breathable shoes are very important. If your dog has dew claws, please make sure the nails are clipped and filed smooth before putting shoes on them. Otherwise it can rub and cut through the skin. It can also get caught while putting them on, so just be gentle and make sure nothing feels like it is getting caught. Always wrap until snug, but not too tight. You should be able to tug without the booty sliding off. What I like about these booties is that the rubber soles come up around the bottom edge, which prevents water or dirt from getting into the mesh area. It has kept my dog's uh, paws dry as long as they stayed out of deep puddles. I believe these shoes come in red, black, and blue. Again, the link is below if you're interested in them.
The second booties are more like socks, but it has a rubber coating at the base, making it waterproof. Since it is thin, soft, and flexible, it is great for beginners. It doesn't feel like much is on their paws and provides great mobility. These booties alone don't seal very well, so I bought Velcro cord ties on Amazon, which I will also link in the description box below. Again, wrap the Velcro on snug and not too tight. For extra security, I like to fold the top excess over the Velcro. I only recommend these booties for short walks and until your dog gets used to having something on their paws because they do not last very long, especially if your dog has long nails or likes to kick or dig. I suggest going outside for a short walk immediately after putting them on so they have distractions and other stimuli to keep their mind occupied. Otherwise, they will lick, chew, and kick trying to get them off. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time!